What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dave. I'm a photographer from the Bay Area of California. I shoot like a camera, specifically the M system. Today I am driving home from Los Angeles back to the Bay Area, taking the 101 up the California coast. And on our drive up, we found this little town to stop into. I thought I'd walk around and do a little photo walk in this little town. And you know, a lot of times when I'm doing a photo walk, I just pull up my M11 and I just see where it takes me. But today I thought what I would do is shoot on an old M monochrome. Shooting the M monochrome is not something I do all of the time, so I figured this is a very old town with some very old buildings. Why not give it that old flavor by shooting monochrome? Let me tell you about my monochrome camera. All right, let's dig out my monochrome here. Yep, here it is. This is my monochrome, and I'm going to shoot it on the M6. Or maybe you thought I was shooting like an actual monochrome camera. Well, guess what? This is an actual monochrome camera. There's a lot of hype out there for the digital monochromes as if they do something that is very unique and impossible. And look, there's, there's several ways to get to a monochrome look. So while the M monochrome and the Q monochrome are just fantastic cameras that do black and white photography, digital photography, basically at its best, you can also shoot monochrome on a $10 roll of film. And if you have any interest in learning how to develop film, shooting black and white film and developing at home is about as easy as it gets. So I'm going to throw my 50 Sumitar, which is this super old classic lens. This lens came out in the 1930s and was in production until I believe the 50s. I have an adapter on here to get it onto my M camera because this was originally made for a screw mount camera. Since it's a little bright outside, I think I'm gonna put in a roll of this Cinestill black and white double X. I've never used this and thought about using FP4. I do have that with me as well, but I've never actually shot this film stock and I'm gonna give it a try today. So we're gonna shoot the Cinestill double X black and white in Los Alamos on the Leica M6 with the 50 Sumitar, and we're gonna develop it home later today, and we'll see how all this looks. All right, let's go for a walk. So one of the crazy things about this lens is that it is a pop-out lens, so you can screw it down into the camera, but you don't wanna do that on an M, especially a digital M. When you push that lens down, it can actually hit your sensor, and that would be an awful thing. And in a film camera, there's some felt in the back, and you don't wanna hit that either. So we pop it out, we leave it out, and we never carry it in its bag with this configuration. Always take this lens off. You know, this is not a universal truth, so don't take it as one, but as I have walked around and shot in a lot of different places, I find that like me as a borderline introvert, I'm always worried that people are gonna get like put off by me shooting around them. And then I go out and do it and realize nobody really cares what I'm doing. So if you're one of those nervous photographers, it's like, I don't wanna get out and walk around here because people might get freaked out. They probably won't care.
ISO 50 millimeters is not ideal for taking photos on a small town street kind of look, but we're making it work here today. I'm really curious because I haven't shot this 50 Sumitar at all on the M6 yet, just adapting it on my M11. So I'm pretty stoked to see what these look like. I have no idea what to expect. For this video today, I wasn't really sure if it should be a Sumitar video, a Cinestill double X video. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And so I kind of combined all these thoughts. And if you like these kinds of videos or just general gear talk, like a talk, things like that, be sure to subscribe and follow along to this channel because I'm posting twice a week or so as I can. And I'd love to have you join the community. All right, let's keep looking for stuff to shoot. Okay, so just to land the plane here, since I only have a couple of shots left, it's easy to get sucked into the monochrome hype, especially for digital cameras. And then you find yourself lusting after gear that's thousands of dollars to go shoot black and white. You could literally spend half that by grabbing an old film Leica, because you're gonna need lenses anyway if you get a monochrome M, and just put some black and white film in it. There are so many excellent black and white film stocks. I have linked a few down below. You can check those out. Or if you're in the mood, you can also shoot digital and just convert to black and white, which is super easy to do, literally with a click of a button or by a preset, also linked below. And if black and white is something you wanna get into, then just go out and shoot a roll or 20 rolls. And you don't have to have like some expensive Leica to do that. You can shoot black and white film in anything. Sometimes I even use a point and shoot. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and the photos of this little town. I'll see you guys next time.